back out on another stealth cam guys and this is definitely not where I'm camping tonight you better believe it's not right so welcome back to the blot outdoor show guys yes back out on another stealth camp all by myself on this one gonna be a dodgy one I'm gonna camp right next to Franklin prison which is a category A prison in County Durham there's some right naughty boys in there we'll have a bit more talk about that later on guys I have been looking on Google Maps on Google Earth and when you walk round the side of the prison and kind of going around the back of it there's some bushes and trees right next to the prison mine so I'm hoping I can get a little spot in there <laughs> if you're watching this video I must have managed to do it um, I'm expecting there to be cameras CCTV all the way around the whole perimeter you know on the outside of the prison so it could be a dodgy one plus when I'm walking past with the camera you know I'm going to get spotted obviously they're going to be shit hot aren't they watching the camera the dodgy people <laughs> I'm not a dodgy person yeah they're going to be they're going to be shit hot looking for people hanging around because obviously people can people can turn up and they, they can throw things over I'm not throwing anything over no one's getting my whiskey <laughs> you know what I'm talking about man dingoes okay then guys I'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer to the prison I'll quickly show you outside the front of it so you can see the sign Franklin prison so you know you know I'm being genuine and I'm actually here right see you when we get a bit closer oh so you can just make out the prison there guys the prison wall through the bushes we're going to come round the corner in a second to the entrance to Franklin prison I'm just going to keep the camera pointing ahead I don't want to draw any attention to myself I'm going to keep the camera close to my chest hopefully no one notices me videoing make this quick how are I don't want to draw any attention to myself guys for obvious reasons Okay then man dingoes, another hundred yards or so and we'll make our way around the side of the prison. There's a few houses in that round here, so it's not like I'm walking somewhere I'm not supposed to be. I'm sure I've seen a sign for a public footpath, so you're going to get the local dog walkers and that's kicking around. back in a winnet this is probably not the most sensible thing to play the screen there I've done guys obviously CCTV in operation to be getting watched they've got to be watching us because if they're not they're not doing the job properly this is where we're going man dingoes right 
sorry for doing everything in such a rush on this video of mandingos just if i'd hung around any longer down there obviously with the camera someone's going to come out and that's going to be the end of this camp As you can see, that's the end of the, the wall over there and it starts to go round. We're going to look for some bushes to come in over in that direction. It's a grey and gloomy deer and I'm in a grey and gloomy place but if we can manage to find a camping spot it's going to be happy dingoes on the Blot Outdoor Show guys because I've got some thatches to drink I've got some waski that's been kindly given to me stick around for the world famous we view later on I've got some food to cook as usual loads of snacks and you know the score man dingoes loads of shite to talk Okay then, quick look behind, make sure I'm not getting followed. <laughs> Why I'm some Ronnie Briggs. How are then? Let's go and find a spot. I'm going to turn the camera off for a few minutes while I work out which is the best way for me to go. Just looking for a break in the bushes, a gap where I can get through. Yeah. This looks decent. I want to try and get as close to the prison as I can. You know, if I'm calling this, if I'm calling this video stealth camping outside a prison, I don't want to be like 500 yards away where I can just see it. You know, that's a bit of a cheat. I want to try and get right up as close as I can. So here we go, guys. Damn. Sorry about the heavy breathing mandingos. I'm not a pervert or anything. <laughs> it's me asthma. Talk about perverts. There'll be a few locked up in there. Perverts and dirty pedos. Murderers. Terrorists. The worst of the worst is locked up in there. Proper monster mansion that place is. Anyway, oh wait. Where's our gunner? camp I can't quite see the prison wall yet oh now I can through the bushes there um, sorry guys Have a look at you. Right, here we go. This looks like somewhere I could put the tent somewhere down here. I'll have to clear the space with my feet. I'm just talking quiet. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but the prison wall is literally just 20 30 yards away through there and you must have prison officers walking around I would expect the will let's just have a look and see how close we are guys before I get me bag off oh 
always a gate down here. What's this? HM prison property. No public access. There you go, folks. That's how close I am to Franklin Category A prison. However, then, I don't want to stop there too long. No, on my luck, one of the screws will water in the corner and I'll be busted. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This will ding dang do. For this man, Dingo, you better believe it will. I'm going to quickly <clears throat> move the leaves out the way of my feet, try and find a nice flat spot for the tent. You know what I'm talking about. See you in a few seconds, guys. Right. <laughs> Cheers, man, dingles. Ah, starting to rain there a little bit too heavy. So I'm just sitting there. I'm quite happy here. Just move back a bit because my camera's getting wet. Nice can of thatches. I'll show you all my setup soon. My sleep system, all my food and drink. I just had a right thirst on. Oh, that's nice. Aye. <clears throat> I should have had my top, but I've got two. I've got my blue one, which you'll have seen us using in the lakes last week. That's no good for stealth camping. Can't use that. It'll stand out like a sore thumb. And Cowboy Chris, you know Cowboy Chris, who's got his own channel now. He's borrowed me green one. I forgot to get a back off him for today, so I could have had that outside, a nice little shelter to sit underneath. But I'm not complaining, I'm quite happy sitting here. Oh, lovely jubbly. Anyway, while I'm sitting having this, might as well answer a little question. A few people have asked us and they've been saying Mandingo what kind of music are you into or are you even into music yeah of course I'm into music I love my music although you know as you get older and you've got a house to run and a family to run and I'm doing the YouTube videos all the time and obviously work working two jobs it's hard to find the time to sit down and even listen to any music but yeah, the music I'm into, um, well, what I was brought up on, because my dad loves his music. So from being a toddler, being a kid, you know, going through school, the music I can remember my dad always playing uh, was stuff like the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, the Kinks, the Who. Um, used to like a bit of Elvis and all. I don't mind a bit Elvis. Going into the 80s, I can remember my dad playing on the stereo things like the Pet Shop Boys, New Order. Damn. My mind's going blank now. Stuff like that, aye. There'll be more, there'll be more. I haven't even wrote down anything I'm gonna say here. This is just off the top of my head. So I, um, then I started getting into my own music, you know, in the late 80s, you know, um, late 80s, early 90s, Stone Roses, Happy Mondays, the Charlatans, and then obviously you had Oasis came along, them just went absolutely massive, didn't it? I saw Oasis, Cast, Ocean Colour Scene, um, bloody hell. Supergrass, 
the list goes on and on there'll be loads there'll be loads of fantastic bands I'm missing out I even liked a bit blur you know you had the whole shite thing going on Oasis and blur and that but I didn't mind a bit blur as well um what else oh I I love I love me Bob Marley kind of beat sitting chilling out to some Bob Marley guys and UB40 as well absolutely fantastic I love a bit UB40 is there anything else I can think of um your mind's gone blank as soon as I press stop as soon as I stop recording I'll start thinking of loads more bands <sighs> Oh, I used to like um, the White Stripes. I used to love them. Oh, the Kings of Leon. Hoo -hoo. You can't work a big Kings of Leon, can you? But going at like heavy metal as well, I used to like Guns N' Roses. Not so much Bon Jovi. I didn't mind some of their songs, you know. But I used to like a bit Guns N' Roses. A bit Metallica. Um, oh, I just think about some more. Um, ones off in the 90s, I used to love uh, Radiohead. Um, stereophonics okay I like the stereophonics as well aye anyway <laughs> there's just a, a few bands and stuff like that I love listening to like I say there'll be loads more great ones I'm forgetting that's that I'm going to finish my can guys and I will bring you legends back very soon <laughs> lice Still waiting, still waiting, <laughs> still waiting for the rain to stop, guys. So I can get out and about and show you some shots of the prison. You know, just stretch my legs. I'm quite happy sitting here, but I do like to have a little bit mooch about. I like to sit in my seat outside and enjoy a few drinks before I come indoors but I'm not complaining I'm sitting here talking to you legends oh listen to that well I think I'm going to have a little snack rooney I'm going to have some Bill Cosby I mean Bill Tong you don't have Bill Cosby in your mouth, do you? Oh, Mason. Right. I'm going to have a snack. Finish me can, Dingo. That's the plan, Dingo man, Dingoes. Hopefully, the rain eases off soon. And we can spend a bit of time outside. Bring it back in a minute. You better believe I will. Okay then my fansexuals, the rain has just eased off a little bit, it's just drizzling at the minute. So I'm going to take you over there, straight from this tent, so I can show you how close I've got the tent, oh, you bugger, to the prison. There you go, you can see that's where I am. Just got to be careful, just in case there's anyone walking around. Pardon me. There 
we go, guys. You can see how close we are. Let's not muck about and get too cocky. Don't want to get moved on, do we? Nettles. So here we are, folks. This is my home for tonight. I've got the foil mat down as usual. Sleeping pad there, my burg house. Two season sleeping bag. Me Trekology pillar. Baghdad's down the bottom. I've got a nice warm jacket for later, in case the temperature drops. Me hat. Me down trousers and slippers. I don't think I'll need them. It's still pretty warm. The old bin diesels there for my main meal. Oh, oh yes, you know who's back, guys. Uncle Densky Bates, international player boy, bunny bar insurance, a British gas price of hard high and lifetime achievement awards for the rich and famous after party people, Mandingos. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right, with that, I'm going to chop some hot dogs up. Dice them hot dogs up and put them in with this Korean barbecue lice. Everyone knows the Koreans love a bit hot dogs with the lice. That's obvious, guys. For snacks, I've got some Italian salami. I've got some fruit. Del Monte fruit cocktail, in case I fancy something healthy. What else have I got? Some lemon cakes, lemon slices. Oh yes. I've got some nice biscuits. They're not called nice. They're called nice. They're not called nice. No. Shut up, man. If I want to call them nice, I'll call them nice. You know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. And I've got a nice beef video nasty. I've got some water there for a coffee. Me Jürgen coffee, good old caramel cappadingo. What else have I got? Bloody flies all over. I've got a can of pa uh, Pepsi Max and Paddy. Two cans of Thatcher's left. I've already had two. I've got some whiskey, just about a third of a bottle. Glen Keith single malt Scotch whiskey. That's been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of John Parkin. Cheers, John, my man friend. That's very much appreciated. Is that everything, guys? I think I've covered everything, I. You better believe I am. Right, while the rain's eased off a bit, I'm gonna oh, stretch my legs, finish my can off while I'm standing outside here. And I think I'm going to have a little cheeky waski. Oh, oh yes. You know what I'm talking about, mandingos. And you know what makes total sense. Bicycles. Still got two cans left. Still got two cans of Thatcher's side left. I just fancied a nice little cheeky waski. <clears throat> I'm 
looks like I'm 10 pound tonight guys like I say I've got no tarp with us but I'm sitting here and I've got the tent door wide open I'm looking out here and the prisons all lit up now all the light is on so it's not like I'm sitting in the pitch black I'm sitting looking out here at the prison walls and it's a weird feeling <laughs> knowing all them all them blokes is locked up behind them walls don't get me wrong I'm not sitting here feeling sorry for them or anything like that they're in there where they belong but it's still a, it's still a weird feeling knowing that I'm sitting here free as a bird why I'm some lyrical genius I am sitting here free living the life out camping with the waski taught new legends while well, them's banged up in there aye <laughs> this is fantastic you cannot whack it man dingoes you cannot whack it as they say in the doodoy <sighs> don't even know what I'm going to talk about now I've just pressed record and I'm just talking shite as usual aye what can we talk about plans for the channel for the next few weeks aim um, obviously I'm out stealth camping now by myself next weekend I'm back in the Lake District with the two Chris's so I'm really looking forward to that don't get me wrong I had a fantastic time last week out with a little schmick and I know you guys enjoyed that video it was, it was unbelievable. I absolutely loved it. And I'm loving this as well. For me, just the basic raw stealth camping like this is just, it's the bee's knees, isn't it? And I know most people tune in for the stealth camping videos. So I know you enjoy it. I enjoy it. But I, I'm really looking forward to going out with the two Chris's next week over the Lake District. It's going to be a scream it's always a good laugh the older Chris cowboy Chris honestly he's a right when the camera's off I'm having a good crack on he's a funny fella he's a great lad hilarious check out his channel by the way he's just dropped his third video so if you like the kind of crack on this channel Mandingos check out cowboy Chris's channel it's called Bonnie Lad Adventures I will leave a link to his channel in the description of this video I, so you always get a good laugh with Cowboy Chris and young Chris I love being out with him he's probably the nicest lad I've ever met in all my life he's a lovely lad so it's a good combo isn't it you've got me who's absolutely nuts you've got the older Chris Cowboy Chris who's a he's a funny lad he's a great laugh and you've got young Chris who's also a good laugh you know but he's a, he's a proper lovely lad so I, I'm really looking forward to next week. I hope you guys tune in for that one. That video will go up next Sunday as usual, like all my camping videos do. Mm. Oh yes. Before that, on the Friday, there'll be another foodie video. The one I put out two days ago on Friday night seems to have gone down really well with Mrs. Blot joining in on the on the food reviews if you would like to see mrs blot on next week's food review let us know you never know she might be up for it she enjoyed eating a bit sausage Err. <laughs> aye i really enjoyed having mrs blot come along on that one and you never know a lot of people have been asking for her to come out on a camp with us you never know manding goes i might be able to get out get her to come out on a camp very soon Anyway, after I've been out next week with the two Chris's, because I was only in the Lake District last week, wasn't I? Yes, with little Mick, and now I'm stealth camping, and then next week I'm back in the Lake District again, but after that, I'm going to go on a good run of stealth camps. There'll be about three or four stealth camps in a row. Oh, yes. You better believe the world man dingoes. I know you, most of you, it's the stealth camping that you like. 
Yeah, so after next week's camp in the Lake District, there's going to be three or four. Through the gate there, I can see one of the prison officers walking around. Oh, fuck. Turn this fucking light over here. Sorry for the language. I don't know if he's heard me talking or what. So you get confident, don't you, after you've had a few drinks? No, he's going, he's going, he's going. Fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. I nearly shit a brick. He was walking. Away to go round the corner, and then he turned and started to walk left, and just started to look back in this direction. That's why I, I ducked behind. But then he's went. I don't know if he's heard me talking shite, and he's wondered where it is. So I'll have to. I definitely have to keep it down from now, guys. I mean, I'm not on, I'm not on the prison property, obviously, because the gate there says, if you pass that gate, you're on their land. But still, while camping in England, if you don't know, is illegal. And they're not going to want some dickhead camping outside the prison. They're going to be wondering what I'm up to. Anyway, guys, I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit. I'm gonna chill out and have a few of these. Get, I'm gonna get all these lights off. <sighs> My <Me> heart's beating. <laughs> right, I'll bring you back very soon. Right. <laughs> so you can see the prison there lit up through the trees and bushes let's take a walk down and have a look guys I can't see very good because the light's blinding us some of the monsters that's locked up in there at the minute is Levi Belfield. What a piece of shit he is. If you haven't heard of him, look him up on Google. Levi Belfield. Horrible piece of shit. And the one everyone will have heard of is Ian Huntley. Jesus Christ, I'd love to get my hands around his neck. Absolute scumbag, horrible murderer, nonsense. I don't want to use bad language on the channel, guys. I know I do swear now and again, <laughs> but I am trying to avoid it if I can. Charles Bronson, he's been locked up in here. Probably the most famous prisoner in Britain. Aye. The list goes. Ugh, midgy. The list goes on and on. Some proper scumbags.
はいあっつライフでチューズマンデンゴーズあっつライフでチューズ This man Dingo chooses the life of camping, whisky, talking shite, and having a good time. Oh, oh yes, you know it makes sense. Are we? Let's climb back in the old ten Dingo, and let's get a can of thatches. Matron. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes, Mandingo goes. You know what time it is. Waski time. And I just want to say a quick thank you to Tim Adams and Dominica for the hat, the pipe. Cheers, guys. You know it makes sense. Very much appreciated. This week's Waski review is going to be Glen Keith. Oh, yes. Which has been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of John Parkin. <sighs> Flies. Cheers, John, my man friend. Very much appreciated. Makes sense. Single malt Scotch whisky. This is going to be a good one, guys. Let's get popped in the old famous cup dingo. Man dingoes. Oh, yes. Ha. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> How well? Let's get the old baker room unit. Oh, there's a, like a, a moth or something flying around us here. Go on, you bugger. Get out of it. Oh, I'm getting like a strong... Like banana skin. You know when you get a banana skin, you've left it lying around for a while. And you get a strong smell of it. Yeah. I'm definitely getting that. A strong banana skin smell. Mandingos. And also like... Like a dried apricots thing going on. Mm-hmm. A very good start. That's enough of the sniffing mandingos. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Now that was weird, that. I've got the, the banana skin smell. But often the smell you get, the taste can be quite different. But that was a big banana taste in that mandingos. Oh yes, a definite banana thing going on, guys. <laughs> ah. Oh, you know, when you get a nice yogurt, like a like a nice apricot yogurt, and you taste it, and it's just like, oh god, that's lovely. And you lash it down in two or three spoonfuls. A lovely apricot yogurt taste there, guys. Some mild spices. But I'm, when I say mild, I mean very mild. No tingle on the old tongue dingo. No burn in the throat. It's going down nice and smooth. actually kind of thick and creamy as it's going down oh. absolute quality where's it at oh god I've lost the bottle oh it's there man dingoes Glen Keith this is the first time I've had this I've seen it in the supermarket about a million times, but until the legend by the name of John Parkin has sent me this, this is the first time I've had it. Yeah. I'm definitely getting a fruity element. Like I said, a strong banana thing going on. apricots some mild spices and it's just it's just a, a nice quality waski that goes down really smooth i tell you what if you're looking at getting into waski because this it's it's really popular in supermarkets <laughs> pardon me like uh, morrison's sainsbury's asda yeah, there's three supermarkets just on top of my head. You can get this in all them. If you, pardon me, if you're looking at getting into a waski. Oh God, I tell you what it does do. It gives you the hiccups. If you're looking at getting into a waski, that's not overpowering. <laughs> that's not too strong. And you want you want one that goes down nice and smooth. This could be the one for you. This, I would say this is a perfect starter waski for people, you know, you legends watching my channel and you're thinking, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit waski. This could be the one for you. It's not too expensive. I don't know the exact price. It's always on special or I always say this on special in the supermarkets. 20 odd pound, something like that. But it's really nice, really good quality. I'm going to give it a very, very good 8.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes, Watson, you know what I'm talking about, and you know it makes total sense. Well, folks, it's 12.15. We are now in the early hours of Sunday morning. I enjoyed that waski. But when I finished doing the review, the wee view, I was dozing off. I've just came out for a slash, Gordon, and that's woke me up. 
Oh well, let's have a little look down. At the old prison. I'm just doing this to keep me awake because I want to cook me food still. There you go, man, dingoes. I know I've already showed you this twice already. I'm not going to hang around because one of the officers keeps walking around. Obviously earlier on you seen I nearly shit myself. I thought I was busted while I've been sitting chilling with the camera off. I noticed another screw walking around as well. So come on. Before another one comes and I'll get my collar felt. You know what I'm talking about. Oh god, I cannot see. Okay then folks, the hot dogs is bubbling away, now to get the Korean barbecue lice on there, the old Korean licicles. I'm going to give that a stir around guys. Now we'll bring you back in a couple of minutes. Oh yes, here we go guys. Mm. Get a load of that. Korean speciality It's a South Korean speciality actually King John Un has actually banned this from North Korea No more barbecue lice with hot dogs in North Korea But South Korea is thriving on this if you think I'm talking shit, I know, guys, I know. You don't take me serious. And I don't blame you. But if you Google it, you will see that hot dogs and Korean barbecue lice is absolutely massive in the South Korea at the minute. In North Korea, it's still a thing. It's hidden. Obviously, if you get caught, you get fed to the dogs. on the south of the borderline this is a delicacy hot logs Korean barbecue lice strictly against orders of King John Un right why is Bonnie sells his physique Oh yes, and outside Franklin Prison in County Durham, Category A, 
for the absolute monsters. This will ding dang do for this man, Dingo. Hmm. You better believe it, guys. Well, man, Dingoes, you know what's coming now. As usual, every week, normally every week, mm. when I'm scrambling away on some cheap bargain food, I'm going to take this chance to say a massive thank you to all you absolute legends. Let's get comfortable. I'm not really comfortable there. All you legends who have supported the Blood of Dorsha this last week. What can I say? The same as I say every week. I'm probably born the living deal, I tell you guys. But all you absolute legends who have supported my little channel. That's not so little now. It's grown. And because of you guys. It's because of use that it's grown. All I can do is come out camping like I do. I come out and I enjoy myself. I cook some terrible food. I drink a few waskies. I talk a bit shit. But you guys keep supporting the channel every week. There's lorry there's lorries. You know who you are. Every week you keep supporting the channel. You keep buying me coffees. Waskies. <laughs> You know it's not for the coffees. You know it's for the waskies. But it's called buy me a coffee. You know who you are guys. And anyone if you've bought for the first time. Or if you haven't bought one yet. And you're going to buy one. Thank you so much. You absolute bunch of legends. It is very much appreciated from me. And from little Mick and the two Chris's. You know them two appreciate it as well. Even though it's my channel. And I'm the one that's running everything we all appreciate it you better believe we do so guys once again thank you so much for buying me a coffee there's your names down there and down there you absolute bunch of legends mmm yeah I'm trying not to slaver on too much when I watch my previous videos I go on and on and on, probably because I've had a few too many beers, a few too many ciders, and a few too many waskies. Yes, I've had a few drinks tonight, but I'm not too bad. I'm pretty sober compared to the usual videos. Yes, guys. Anyway, one more time, thank you so much, everyone here who have supported the Plutter Door Show. You all legends in my eyes cheese guys you know what makes sense mm. well look at that hot dogs korean lice you cannot get a more traditional south korean meal than that right guys it's three o'clock in the morning. I am absolutely shattered. It's time to say good night. I've got my alarm set for eight o'clock, so I will get a solid five hours sleep. Oh. Okay, the mandingos. I'll see you first thing in the Morgan. A coffee and Mr. Kipling cake time. Apparently he makes exceedingly good cakes. Oh yes, you better believe he does. Okay then my pal friends, good night. See ya in the morn. Right. Good morning Mandingos. 8.40. I've slept absolutely brilliantly. I've only woke up because I'm busting oh, for a Jimmy Riddle. Oh, 
you know what I'm talking about, guys. A slash Gordon. Oh. Fantastic. What a brilliant night. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm going to have to quickly pop outside and get a quick pee. Well, folks, all I've got left to do now is take the tent down. Everything from inside the tent is in the old Baghdad. All me shite is in the bin diesel. I'm just chilling out for 10 minutes. Nice Jurgen Cloffy. Oh, the nice them caramel cappadingos from Morrison's. Ah. Couple of lemon cakes. Lemon slices. Nice coffee. Can it whack it? Mm. So here we go, folks. Say goodbye to Franklin Category A prison. Let's make our way back out through these bushes and trees. I can't remember which way I came, so we're just going to have to guess. Um, oh, I can't remember passing this fence. I must have come a different way. Uh, see if I can get a leg over. Barrel oh, mate, right now. Man, which way, which way? Why, aye, aye. Yes, I think that's the pathway ahead. So that's it, my fan sexuals. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely brilliant time. It's been class. Loved every second of it. Even when it was lashing down the rain, it was just nice. Sat in the tent there, talking to you guys, having a few drinks, talking shite, as usual. Well, if you have enjoyed it, Mandingos, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read every one. Tell people about the Blot Outdoor Show. Let's try and get this channel really going, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay then, please join me next Friday on my next food review. And next Sunday, where you'll see me and the two Chris's while camping in the Lake District. You better believe you will. See you later, guys. You know it makes sense. Right. Oh, uh, air matron. Uh.